Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing Center, coming in for another weekly tip. All right, today's tip is actually about your database health on here. So if you notice, mine is below 50%, so we definitely want to update that. All right, so in this case, we're going to go over what you need to get up to that 100%. So it's a little bit different um, than just kind of the normal, you know, adding in just a, a name and an email or anything of that sort. There are a couple different items they want and a couple different weighted percentages. All right, so to add this in, it's pretty simple. We'll just go to our contact section. And of course, always feel free to click that KW logo at the top left to kind of push everything out so you can see the names. All right, so I'll click on contacts. All right, and then I'm going to go through, I'm going to start with myself on here. All right, so I'm going to click on myself real quick. And you can click on any contact you want to. And at the very top, it's automatically going to show your contact health score on here. All right, so let's go ahead and click on this edit option up at the top. So that way we can actually go through and start to edit this even further. All right, so the first thing we'll definitely need, that's 20% of our health score, is going to be their first name on here, basically first and last name. So we've got that added in, so that's perfect. All right, another 20% actually goes to the personal email address. All right, so we want to make sure we add inside an email address, or not just personal, but just email in general. All right, and then another 20% also goes to their primary phone number. All right, so I'm going to add this in real quick. All right, and that is perfect. All right, so this alone right here, name email phone number is 60%. All right, so that's very high on there. All right, then we're going to go to add more information down here so we can see all of our additional info we can add for this particular person. All right, so I'm going to go to add contact info on here. If you want to add in any additional email or phone numbers, you definitely can. And then, of course, down here we have the primary address. Now, adding in an address is also an additional 20%. All right, so once you add inside the name, email, phone number, and address, you're already at 80%. All right, so I'm going to add this in real quick. Let's see if it pops up for me. There we go. Awesome. We're not too... That's fine. All right, so I'm going to say this is work on here. It's not technically the actual mailbox on there, but I'm not going to X out. That's okay. <laughs> All right. So I'll say that's the same as mailing on here too. All right, so now we officially have 80% just by doing those four. All right, then, of course, we come down here for about. All right, we can actually see where we can add inside birthday. So date of birth is going to be 4%. So we want to make sure that's added in on here. All right. Then, of course, we can also add inside our profession or company name on here, too. All right, so adding inside that work info on here will help out tremendously. All right, so I'm going to add inside company name. Let's see, it's probably not on here. Awesome. So I'm going to create a company and I'll put in job title. There we go. All right. So that's an additional 4% on there too. So for the time being, I'm just going to click the save button so we can actually see how high this has actually jumped up. All right. So as you can see, we're now at 92%. All right. So we're currently just missing 8%. All right. And then outside of that, we also need a lead source, a tag, and then a social account. All right. So in this case, I believe I already have a tag on here, but we'll take a look regardless. So I'm going to click on edit again, update this info. So remember, I've got a tag on here, so that's perfect. I skipped over that, so I apologize. If not, to add inside a tag, pretty simple. Just click on it. You can add inside a tag you want to on here. You can also type inside the tag you want. All right, so you can create a custom tag on here, whatever you prefer. And then you can even put a tag color on there as well. All right, so I want to make sure it tags on here. So this first section alone is already worth 64%. All right, so we did the additional contact info, so that's perfect. All right, for the About section on here, we have our birthday as well. Once again, you can add inside a home anniversary too. Not everyone obviously has purchased one though, so that's okay. All right, for our sales pipeline, we do want to put inside a lead source on here. All right, so we do want to put inside a lead source. That's going to be another 4% in this case. All right, so unfortunately, we can't just type inside whatever lead source we want to. I just want to show you that on there. All right, but we can go through and kind of search for what lead source might be. All right, so in this case, maybe I want to put inside, I'll say imported, because I automatically added them. There we go. And then the final thing we'll want is a social account. All right, so in this case, I'm sorry, that is actually back under additional contact info on here. We have social profile. My apologies. I'm all over the place today. All right, so now I can put inside their Facebook URL. 
All right, and if you notice, it automatically pops up with facebook.com slash, so we're good to go. Now, of course, you can always click the Add Profile option and click the drop-down on the left-hand side to add additional social media options that are available for you to put on here, including just a link if you want to, if they have something outside of these options. All right, so we've gone through, once again, 20% for the name, 20% for the email, 20% for the phone, 4% for the tag, all right? Down here, we also happen to have 20% for the address, 4% for the social profile, 4% for the birthday, all right? 4% for the work or job title on here, all right? And then our sales profile, or sorry, sales pipeline, my bad, lead source, 4%. And then, of course, for custom, you can add inside anything you want to. So once I click save, this should pop up at 100% now. There we go, and we're all good to go. All right, so now if I actually go back over to my actual contacts, I don't have too many on here. All right, then we can actually go through all of our different contacts that we want to view. Or, of course, if you want to, you can also click on Home on here, and then you'll be able to see your database health score, too, as it starts to slowly populate higher. All right, but once again, this is how you can get your database for each particular contact up to 100%. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.